Hello, and welcome to GiveGab, the nonprofit giving platform. My name is Bridget, and I'm here to help you get started and be successful. There are a lot of different features on GiveGab you can use to engage with your supporters, but today I'll be focusing on volunteer management. First things first, let's sign up. To get your organization set up on GiveGab, click the Try It Free button on givegab.com. From this page, you'll want to click Create a Nonprofit to get your organization set up. On this form, you'll just need to add some basic information about your organization. So first, your organization name. Next, you'll want to add your mailing address. And down here is where you want to create your login information. So this is where you add your own name, the email address you'll use to log in, as well as a password that you can use to log in and out of your account on GiveGab. So once all of that information is ready to go, you're going to want to click Finish. So once you click that finish button, you will automatically land on your admin dashboard on GiveGab. Your admin dashboard is kind of like home base for all the great things you can do on GiveGab. Once you start having more activity, this overview page will highlight some helpful insights like how many volunteers you have or how much money you've raised. This is also where you can add additional administrators to your page and edit your organization's main profile. On the left here, you'll see five different tabs. Today, we're going to focus on the Volunteering tab. When you click on the Volunteering tab, it will expand to show three different links, Opportunities, Analytics, and Log Hours. Let's start with Opportunities. From this page, you'll be able to create and manage all of your organization's volunteer opportunities. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and click Create My Opportunity. Doing that will direct me to this opportunity editor. So on this editor, you're going to add some information about the volunteer opportunity. First, the name of the opportunity. So I am going to be hosting a Saturday soup kitchen at my organization. Next, I'm going to want to add a little description so my volunteers know more about the opportunity that they're signing up for. Next, you can choose to add an image for your organization's volunteer opportunity. If you don't add an image, it will automatically pull in the logo you select for your organization's profile. Next, you're going to want to select the date of this opportunity. You can choose between whether it's an ongoing opportunity, a one-time opportunity, or if it's taking place within a specific date range. This is going to be happening every Saturday at my organization, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it as an ongoing opportunity. Next, you'll see a place for an application process. So if your volunteers need to do something a little extra in order to volunteer for this opportunity, make sure to include that here. You'll also want to check this box to show that your volunteers that this opportunity is a family-friendly event where they can bring their family and children. Down here, you'll see information for the contact person for this opportunity. It will automatically pull in whoever the contact person for your organization is, but if someone different is running this opportunity, you'll want to change that here. And then lastly, on this opportunity editor, you'll want to adjust where the opportunity is happening. Now, if the opportunity uh, is not happening at your main organization, you'll want to make sure to update that here so your volunteers know where to go. However, you can also do something called making it a virtual opportunity. So if you have something like a social media manager or something that else can be done online, this is a really great way to utilize those volunteers from all over the country who are using GiveGab and get them involved in your organization no matter where they are. So if you do have an opportunity like that, make sure to utilize that virtual, vol virtual volunteer opportunity box. So once I have all this information set, I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Opportunity. So once I click that button, I am automatically taken to my main opportunity page. 
So this is the page where your volunteers will visit and learn more about the opportunity as well as sign up and log their hours after the event. So on your opportunity page, all of the main key information is up here at the top. So the date, the time, the location, and the contact person. Below that, you'll see the sign up button right up at the top for your volunteers to see so they know exactly what to do to get involved with this opportunity. Down here, you'll see more specific information like the description of the opportunity, as well as the option to add tags and tasks. So tags are a really great way to highlight the skills you're looking for in your volunteers. To add a tag, click the add tags button right here. Once you click that, you'll be able to choose from a variety of causes, skills, and interests that best reflect what volunteers you're looking for for this opportunity. So I'm going to select poverty and hunger, and I'm looking for volunteers with lots of culinary skills, as well as an interest in cooking and food and drink. And I think that will help me find the volunteers I'm looking for. So once I'm done with those tags, I'm going to click save. And now you'll see those great tags listed on your opportunity so your volunteers know what skills you're looking for. Below that, you'll see the option to create tasks. So to create a task is like creating a mini uh, opportunity within the opportunity. So if you have something more specific you want someone to do, this is where you're gonna wanna add in those tasks. So to add a task, you're gonna click the Manage Tasks button and then add a task. So let's say I need a certain amount of people for the clean up crew specifically. So I'm going to create my name of my task as well as the start date. So let's say this one is going to start a little bit later. So this is gonna be there at five. The cleanup crew doesn't have to be there until seven. And for the cleanup crew, I only need five people to help out. So I'm gonna limit the number of volunteers who can sign up for this task to five. Here's a short description of what this volunteer opportunity. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So once I've done that, and I head back to my opportunity, you'll see that task listed there. And all someone has to do to sign up is either click that sign up button or from the top of the page, if they click this sign up button, they'll automatically be prompted to sign up for a specific task. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for the cleanup crew. And now I am successfully signed up for this opportunity. So to manage my opportunity and all the volunteers who may have signed up, I'm gonna head back to my admin dashboard. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click dashboard right up at the top of my navigation. Once I do that, you'll see I'm automatically taken to the overview tab of my admin dashboard. Now let's head back into that volunteering opportunities section. So now that I've created an opportunity, you'll see it looks a little different. So you have the options to view, edit, manage your tasks and tags, email all of your volunteers, download a list of your volunteers, manage any surveys you send to your volunteers, cancel it, archive it, or mark the sign up as full so nobody else can sign up for your opportunity if you already have all the help you need. Here you can also view any past opportunities that may have happened at your organization previously. So once you do have a lot of different opportunities and engagement with your volunteers, you can head to the analytics section to gain new insights into your volunteering and how that affects your organization. So here is the analytics page. Here you'll be able to see things like your total volunteer hours, your member activity, and overall impact over a certain period of time. So again, once more of your volunteers have logged their hours, you can really start to see um, their impact on your organization, how much they volunteered, um, that can really help uh, furthering your mission and getting a better understanding of how your volunteers like to give back. And again, once you do have uh, lots of members engaging with your organization on GiveGab, you may need to log hours on their behalf to make sure that they're allocated towards your organization. And to do that, you're going to want to head to the last section in that volunteering tab, which is log hours. So once you click that log hours button, you'll be able to log hours on behalf of any of your members on GiveGab. 
Just select the opportunity information and then start adding volunteers and how long they volunteered for. And once you're done, all you have to do is click log hours and they'll automatically be allocated to those volunteers and the opportunity at your organization. Now, we've navigated through all of the volunteering tab. I think you're ready to get started. But if you ever have any questions, please reach out to us using this little blue chat bubble in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. When you do, you'll be able to chat with any member of our customer success team to answer any questions you have or help you get started. We love answering your questions and we're always happy to help and make sure that you are as successful as possible on GiveGab. So with that, I'm Bridget and I hope you are ready to get started on GiveGab. Thanks for joining me and happy GiveGabbing.